Welcome to Iron Lotus Tai Chi, I'm Grant. Today we're going to have a look at a uh, short form using a stick. This one is called the Dong Yue Bang or Dong Yue Short Stick and we'll just go nice and easy with this. Again this is a follow along lesson, it's a fairly simple form. If you've mastered the Tai Chi walking that we did in the other video where we have this rock back, hip drops down turn, step in, turn, rock back, letting the hips sink down and in, turn. That's the primary stepping underneath this form. If you've got that, the moves on top of it are fairly simple. And um, again, this is a, a follow along lesson. If you've done the form before, you should be fine. There's a couple of complicated moves near the end. Um, and again, I will do some lessons breaking this down step by step, okay? okay so I'm going to start over here. We've got a bit of a limited space today, so we're going to make the best of it, see how we go. So our stick, just to start with, your stick wants to be, if you put it on the floor in front of you, stick here, that's the base of my sternum just there, so stick is coming up to that point, okay? If it's an inch or so, longer or shorter, is no drama. Another way of measuring the length of it is 13 hands, but people do different things with their hands. Some people put their hand like that, some people put their thumb out there like that. So a, a more precise measurement is this base of the sternum. Okay, So we're going to start with our right hand, one hand's bent in from the right hand end of the stick. I'll start with my back to the camera. Okay, So we're holding our stick up like this, we bring it up to chest height, for a salute, then we relax it back down. I want to straighten this right arm so that the stick comes down a little bit lower. And then left hand between your shoulder and the stick. And if it's just slightly above your shoulder, again, that should be pretty much very close to one hand's bent. Bring it down to hip height. Step out to a wide horse stance. Imagine someone's trying to hit you on the head with the stick so you block up. You don't lock the elbows, just stretch up. Then bending at the hips as far as comfortable. Bend the knees, stick comes up to chest height, we're still bent down. We drop the stick down, we step back into centre. Then we step out to the right. Do the same again. Imagine someone's trying to hit you on the head. Stretch up to block. Bend at the hips as far as comfortable. Then bend the knees, stick comes up to chest height, still bent down. Stick back to hip height, step in. Then we're going to bring our right hand up near our left ear. We look to our left, and rather than just stepping straight, we're going to step across, quarter circle step. And as we block forward, back heel goes back. We want this stick on a nice angle. We call that like a shed roof. So if a strike comes in, it's going to hit and glance away. This top hand needs to be a bit above your head. If it's down here, you're going to get clonked on the head if someone tries to hit you on the head. So you want to be just above head height. Then we're going to rock back, hip dropping down and in, and the tip of the stick and the tip of the front toe come up and over the back of the stick drops down. And we turn. We step through, and we extend. Again, a little bit higher than head height to protect the head. And then we rock back, tip of the stick and the toe come up and over. We turn down to hip height, we step through, and we poke to the front, then we look back as we poke back and kick to the front. And then we step back again, poke to the front. Tip of the stick and the front toe come up and over. Down to hip height. Step through, poke to the front. Look back as we poke back, kick to the front, step back. Then right toe up. We imagine someone's trying to hit this right shin. So we're going to block across. Lock up, someone's trying to hit us on the head, we step. I'm just giving myself a little bit more room. We step, and while they're hitting us up there, we kick, boom. Now that kick, you can bring that up really high if you want to. It's pretty much a straight leg kick, so it's not an up and out. It's a swing up, mostly intended to, as someone's striking up there, to kick to the belly or the groin area, okay? So we've got that, and we bring that one back, and left toe up, left hand comes down again. Someone's trying to hit that ankle. We block across, 
point the stick down here. Again, someone's trying to hit this one. We block across, step, back, heel back. Someone tries to hit us on the head, we block up. We swing the leg up, step back, turn that back heel in, step the feet close together. Okay, now this next move is tricky. So if you haven't done this form before, this will almost definitely trick you, okay? So here we're going to extend the right hand end of the stick away from us, sliding our right hand in towards us. This left hand end of the stick comes under the forearm. Once it's under the forearm, we loosen the grip. So it's just between thumb and forefinger. The stick drops down and we do a little spiral. Lift that up, slide the right hand down. Okay, we're in this sort of position. Then we're going to let go with that top hand, bring the stick down parallel to the ground, step across again, quarter circle step, and extend. Boom. Okay, so again, need a little bit more room. Then we're going to lift the toe, and the tip of the stick comes up and over into our waiting tiger's mouth in this left hand, turning that right toe in. Step, and then feet together. Okay? And again, we're going to extend this left hand end of the stick away from us, and we're going to let the right hand end of the stick come under our right forearm. Then just holding the stick between the right forefinger and thumb, relax it down, lift it up, left hand slides down. Let go with the right hand, parallel to the ground, quarter circle step, and extend. Boom. Okay, again, I'll just give myself a tiny little bit more room. Then the tip of the stick drops down, comes into the right hand, a block out to the corner. Okay, and we're going to bring our left toe in. And again, imagine someone's trying to hit that ankle and we block across. We step and we block down. As we block down, this left wrist is rolling, so it's stretched. Okay, so it's the back of the fist is down a little towards the floor. Lift the right toe, put it down, left heel back as we cross over. Unwind, block to the corner. Again, imagine a strike is coming in here, we deflect it out of the way, we step through, right wrist turns so the back of the fist is a little to the floor, block down. Left toe up, left hand down. Right hand up and over, back, heel back to cross over. Back to centre, straightening the feet up. And then we're going to do a helicopter move. Our left hand goes up and over our head. Try to keep the stick fairly uh, horizontal. Try not to get too much of this sort of thing going on, okay? Like a helicopter, over the head, under the armpit. Once it's under the armpit, it should be firm, okay? And then right step back and across we then turn that back heel in front toe in right hand grabs the stick and then left toe straightens up a little bit unwind and again we have our helicopter and we'll again we'll go to the other side so this time right hand is going to go over the head left hand comes under the armpit left foot steps across and back Back heel in, step in, step back. Left hand comes to the stick under the armpit. Okay, and we're going to bring that right hand in the stick up and over, the toe comes up, we turn it as far as comfortable, and then we step across, block down with the right hand in, strike with the left hand in, and all these strikes are to the right hand side of your body. And if we keep going, the stick will come up under the arm here. The only way to keep that circle going is to turn the body left, bring the stick across in front of you, and then turn. Now the right hand end of the stick is under the arm. So again, to keep that going, we're going to turn our left toe to the front, bring our right toe in, bring that up onto one foot. Okay? Right foot down, step across. Left hand end of the stick strikes, and again, this is to the left of the body, so it's kind of behind the body. Right hand end of the stick, left hand end of the stick. Right hand end comes and gets stuck under the arm. We turn the body, keep that going, and then left hand down, 
right hand down, left hand end of the stick is under the armpit again, so we turn the body to straighten up and up onto one foot. Back to centre, step in, bring the stick to the upright position, so you've got that in the right hand there, bring it up to salute to finish the form. Okay, so some of those moves, especially at the end there, are quite tricky. The, this move where we do this sort of thing, some people find that fairly easy, other people find that quite tricky. So we'll do that a couple of times without any stepping, just to try and see if we can smooth that out a bit. So often if you do find it tricky, if you just hold the stick with one hand is, is best. Okay, So if I'm being a mirror, right hand is on the stick and you're bringing the left hand end of the stick out towards me. As you do, the short end of the stick comes under your forearm. Once it's past your forearm, you're just holding the stick between thumb and forefinger, you let the weight of the stick drop it down, and then you're lifting this arm up. Okay? So we go same again. This end of the stick is extending away from us, the short end comes in under our forearm. Once it's under there, let the stick weight of it drop down, and then draw up. Okay, so when this right hand is on the stick, it's not really doing anything, it's just stabilizing it and guiding. Okay, you can see I'm not, if I hold it, this will get back here and I'll be stuck. So I've got to let it slide through that hand, then I let it drop down. Again, the right hand's not really doing anything yet, right hand drops down, and that's the point where the right hand takes over, ready to strike. Okay? So if we go same with the other side, we just go one hand first, we've got that left hand out in front. We want this end of the stick, the right hand end of the stick, to come out towards the screen, towards me. The short end comes under your forearm. Once it's past your forearm, holding the stick at the same time, fourth finger, let it drop down. Raise it up. Okay? Same again. So this it's useful to think of this as like, you know, there's something there and you're doing a little strike out that way or a little block that way, okay? As that goes out, this comes under the forearm. Again, we let it drop down. We bring it up. So again, the key is this left hand, once it's on there, must not be stuck on there. If it's stuck on there, again, this will get here and you won't be able to do this. Maybe you've got to let that left hand just slide along the stick, okay? So, we just let it slide along, the right hand's doing all the work, let the weight of the stick drop. If the stick slide, the left one down, and then we let go back to this parallel to the ground position, ball. Okay? So that one, it's worth looking at that a few times, but again, I'll put some detailed lessons going through the form shortly, and the ones at the end of the form with all this sort of da 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 we'll have a bit of a, a look at that as well. Okay, so hopefully you've enjoyed that, that's been useful. If so, share, like, subscribe, all those sorts of good things. Thanks for joining in. I'll have something else for you soon.